All nuclei of the atom of a particular element have the same atomic number, but nuclei may have different mass numbers. Remember, this is why Dalton's postulate number two failed. You have a different number of neutrons and a different mass. This gets us to the term isotopes. Isotopes, isotopes are atoms whose nuclei have the same atomic number Z, but different mass number A. That is, the nuclei have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons, thereby causing them to have different masses. Chlorine, for example, exists as two isotopes. You have chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. So here are the two nuclides of chlorine. You have chlorine-35-17, 30, chlorine-37-17. 30, that basically means that I have 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and 17 electrons for chlorine-35, and 17 protons, 20 neutrons, and 17 electrons for chlorine-37. The mixture of the isotopes of the masses is what makes up the actual mass of the element. If you look at the periodic table of the element chlorine, you see the bottom number here is your atomic mass. This is the average mass of the different isotopes. Notice that it's closer to 35 than it is 37, which is an indication that the majority of the species are chlorine-35 than they are, they are of the chlorine-37. The rated, weighted average of all the isotopes based on their fractional abundance gives us our average atomic mass, is what, we'll, and what is what you find on the periodic table. The fractional abundance is the fraction of the sample of atoms that is composed of a particular isotope. For this particular example, the fractional abundance of chlorine-35, which has a mass of 34.97 AMUs, is 75.771%. Chlorine-37, mass of 36.97 AMUs, has a fractional abundance of 24.229. So three-fourths of the isotopes have a mass equivalent to that of chlorine-35, Hence, the weighted average is going to be closer to that 35 weight than it is to 37. How do you calculate that? Well, it's just a mathematical equation. You take your fractional abundance in its decimal form, time its mass of that isotope, and you sum all the different isotopes. In this case, there's only two, so then you will take 24%, your 0.24229, time its mass of 36.97 AMUs, and gives you a total mass of 35. Point Four five AMUs for your average atomic mass. Note the mixture of isotope masses make up the actual mass of the element given on the periodic table. Chlorine has a mass of 35.45 AMUs, which is based on the two isotopes of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. The actual AMU symbol will, unit we'll talk about later on. Here's another example. Calculate the atomic weight of boron from the following data. We know there's two isotopes, boron-10 and boron-11, uh, given you the masses and the fractional abundances. Note that the fractional abundances must add up to 1 or 100 percent. If you want, if you're talking about decimal percent, if you're talking about percentages. This means you may run into problems where I give you one of the two species, or maybe I give you three and give you two. Well, you know you need to add up to 100 so you can subtract the other two or the other one from 100 and figure out what the unknown isotope uh, fractional abundance is. In this particular case, boron, we see that 80% are closer to boron-11 and boron-10, so we expect our value to be closer to boron-11's weight than it is to boron-10. Do the math, you have your 10.013 AMUs times your fractional abundance, which gives you 1.980, your 11.09 AMUs times your 0 0.8022 uh, fractional abundance gives you 8.831, add that up, gives you 10.811 AMUs. Note the mass on the periodic table matches the 10.811. AMUs that we just calculated. This is the weighted average of the isotopes, and also notice that it's closer to the boron-11 as we suspected since 80% of them had boron-11 
uh, mass compared to boron-10 mass. Should be able to do some homework on homework 11.